I guess uh, you, if you enjoyed the tour of Abbott's, it's uh, something we do, don't do very often. Uh, one of the reasons was there was a, a magician who was originally from this area, and then he moved to the West Coast, but uh, he came back to visit his relatives in Battle Creek, and uh, my dad took him on a tour of uh, the magic shop. This would have been back in the early 60s. And uh, my dad got called to the phone, and he was in the uh, back room by himself. Uh, later that day, uh, after you know saying goodbye or whatever, some of the workers then the next day mentioned to my dad that we were short three mutilated parasols. And we looked and looked and couldn't find them and couldn't find them. And then later we found that this magician was selling them, and he had thrown them out a window when my dad left him alone in the back room. So he's one of the few people that have ever been banned from the Abbott get-together. Well, the same magician, although he was very good and he worked quite a bit and had a lot of illusions, and quite the illusion show, but uh, he was also banned at the Magic Castle. He had done some things out there uh, that uh, rumor is that he nailed the uh, substitution trunk closed on Bill Larson during their big It's Magic show, and so then he was banned for life from the Magic Castle. It's the same magician. Uh -huh.